In this video, I want us to learn how to make your classroom more gender sensitive. This is your presenter, Professor Kibet. Creating a gender inclusive classroom is important to ensure that all our students feel safe, valued, and respected in their learning environment. Remember, that creating a gender inclusive classroom is an ongoing process that requires a commitment to learning, listening, and adapting to the needs of your students. By fostering an environment where all students feel valued and respected, you can promote a more inclusive and equitable educational experience. In the following section, I will be discussing about the strategies that we can use to make our classroom more gender inclusive. One, use inclusive language. Address your students using gender neutral terms like students, scholars, or everyone, instead of using boys and girls. Use students' preferred names and pronouns. Allow them to share their pronouns during the introductory, uh, their introductions and include them in the class uh, rosters. Number two, diverse literature and curriculum. Incorporate diverse perspectives, others, and voices in your curriculum. Includes reading materials that re represent a variety of genders, cultures, and identities. Encourage critical thinking about gender-related topics by discussing and analyzing various texts, including those that challenge traditional gender uh, norms. Number three, flexible seating arrangement. Allow students to choose their seats, ensuring that they feel comfortable and can work in a way that suits them best. Number four, inclusive activities and assignments. Offer a variety of activities and assignments that cater for, that cater to different learning styles and preferences, allowing all students to excel. Avoid assignments or activities that enforce traditional gender uh, stereotypes. Number five, respect privacy and consent. Ensure that the restrooms and changing facilities are inclusive and accessible to all students, regardless of their gender identity. Teach and promote the importance of consent and respecting personal boundaries in all aspects of classroom interactions. Number six, supportive language behavior. Encourage students to support and respect one another, one another's identities and experiences. Address and challenge any discriminatory or biased language or behavior in the classroom promptly. Number seven, inclusive classroom deco. Use posters, images and decorations that reflect diversity in gender, race, and identity. Avoid decorations or materials that reinforce stereotypes or are exclusive. Number eight, professional development. Educate yourself and your colleagues on gender diversity and, inclus and inclusion. Attend workshops or training sessions to better understand the needs of gender diverse uh, students. Nine, open dialogue. Create a safe space for students to ask questions and discuss topics related to gender, identity, and inclusivity. Respect confidentiality when students choose to share their personal experiences. And number 10, Support trans and non-finary students. 
be proactive in providing support for trans and non-binary non -binary students. This may include using the preferred names and pronouns, offering access to gender neutral facilities, and addressing any potential issues of mis misgendering or bullying. Number 11, promote inclusive extracurricular activities. Encourage and support students-led initiatives that promote inclusivity such as LGBTQ or clubs or gender diverse support uh, groups. Although I know in Africa and other places, inclu inclus inclusivity issues like LGBTQ is not actually encouraged. And finally, collaborate with families. Communicate with parents and guardians about your commitment to a gender-inclusive classroom. Share resources and information on how they can support their children's gender identity at home. So this marks the end of my presentation where we've taken time, we've learned about how to make your classroom more gender inclusive. Thank you.